Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another weekly grocery haul for you and I did go to Winco. Now I actually was not really planning on doing a big grocery shop today, but we had our family come stay with us over the weekend and so we really just kind of needed to replenish food because we did go through a lot more having like four extra people in the house. So before we get into the grocery haul, I will go ahead and share what we were having for meals this week. So on Monday, we are having chicken burrito bowls. Tuesday, we are going out to eat. Wednesday will be spaghetti. Thursday will be baked pesto chicken. Friday is pizza and movie night. Saturday will be leftovers and Sunday will be breakfast for dinner. So a few of those recipes are already in the Cook With Me playlist. Definitely check that out if you have not already. I will go ahead and link it in one of the iCards and also in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get on into the haul. All right, the very first thing we got was this big watermelon. It is not like the crazy good summer prices, but it was decent and we've just been craving watermelon. And so I decided to go ahead and get one of these for snacking this week. And then I got two loaves of bread. This is just the Great Grains multi-grain flaxseed and omega-3 bread. And I get this for sandwiches and things like that for my husband and also for my kiddos. I also got some tomatoes. These are just like the on the vine tomatoes, but they were a pretty good deal today. And I got these for our baked pesto chicken this week. I also picked up a carton of 18 eggs. These will pretty much just be for breakfast. And I wanted to make sure that we had some also for our breakfast for dinner later this week. And then I got some turkey pepperoni. We love getting the turkey pepperoni because it's not as spicy and so my kids will actually eat it, but this will just be going onto our non-bread pizzas that we we're having for Friday night movie night. The next thing I picked up is just a box of Triscuits. This one is the four cheese and herb. I actually haven't got Triscuits in like a really long time, but we've been loving just having like some kind of snack, like a cracker or something. And I thought these would be really good, especially with hummus. And I also got these rice crackers. We've gotten rice crackers before and we love them. They are so delicious. They're like really crispy and they're perfect to go with hummus. I don't know if I've gotten this brand or if we have gotten this brand, they really change up their packaging that I don't really recognize it. But either way, I'm sure we're going to love these. We just love rice crackers. I also got a spaghetti squash and this will just probably be for myself, maybe a little bit for my husband when like everyone else has the spaghetti with regular pasta, I'm probably going to just have it with spaghetti squash. And I got a red pepper and this will pretty much just be for snacking and I may add it into our salads. So the next thing I got is six of these little bags of pastas. These are just like the little baby pastas. They are so, so good. And I love to have these on hand. I just ran out, which is why I got like six of them, but they are super inexpensive. But we usually will like to keep these on hand to make like little noodle soup and like toss in some veggies for the kids just to kind of have throughout the week. But last night when we made our burrito bowls, I actually wanted something a little bit easier and like quicker than rice. And so I just made this and like topped our burrito bowls on this pasta instead of rice. And it was so, so, so good. So I will definitely link that in an iCard above. It is such an easy recipe and it's super convenient to make. It's just a crock pot recipe. You can also make it in your Instant Pot, I believe. But if you make it, try it with these little pastas as opposed to rice. It's so, so good. I also picked up some Colby Pepper Jack cheese and this will be for my husband's sandwiches that he takes to work. And I also got a bag of this orange chicken. We've gotten this before from Winco and it tastes just like the Trader Joe's kind. It is so, so good. And I like to just kind of keep it in the freezer for nights nice that like dinner doesn't happen or like an easy lunch or something just to kind of have on hand. The next thing I picked up is just two packages of these romaine hearts and these would just be for salads. And then I picked up a big bag of this cereal. This is just this frosted mini spooners. So this is basically like the off brand of frosted mini wheats, but I just went ahead and picked this up to have for cereals because we are almost out. The Gala apples were on crazy good sale again today. They were still 78 cents a pound. So we really stocked up and we have like seriously been going through some apples lately, 
but I do want to mention I still get questions about this a lot but the little like reusable bags that I use for our produce is actually laundry mesh bags from the Dollar Tree they come three in a pack and they are so so convenient and so inexpensive so definitely check them out if you're looking to go like a little more green and get some more reusable bags i also got two bunches of bananas and this will be for just eating for snacks and also for smoothies and banana ice cream and then i got three containers of strawberries these were on a really great sale today they were only a dollar fifty for one container and then i also got some ginger i actually don't have any recipes that i need this for but i sometimes forget ginger it's like an ingredient that i overlook once in a while and so I wanted to just go ahead and keep this on hand because I used it last week when I made my chicken teriyaki and so I don't have any more. But one quick little tip for ginger is to stick it into your freezer in just like a Ziploc bag or something like that and it will stay good for so long and it makes it so easy to like peel and grate. And then I also got some tofu. I usually do love getting organic tofu but this one is non-GMO so I do feel like that's like the most important thing when it comes to soybeans and soy products but I just got some to also make like some tofu scrambles this week. And then I got two cans of olives and this will just be for going into like pasta salads and also for our pizza and snacking, things like that. And then these were not on my list today because we do have some of like the uncooked tortillas still in our freezer right now, but I saw these when we walked in the store, they were only like 98 cents and these are really nice to have just like a quick quesadilla or a quick wrap or something like that. So I went ahead and picked up a bag of these. And then I got some more sliced up banana peppers. These are so delicious on like everything. We put them on sandwiches, we put them on wraps, we put them on salads, on pizza. They're so good. They're not really spicy. They're like kind of pickled, but they are so, so good. They're a little, they have like a little kick to them, but not really anything that like makes you not enjoy it at all. They're so good. So if you haven't tried these, definitely pick some up and try putting them on things because they are so, so good. I also got some of these cute little tiny tomatoes. These looked so yummy and I just thought these would be so good, like just chopped up and put into salads. And then I got two heads of broccoli and this will probably just be to make roasted broccoli to go alongside one of our meals this week. Now this is the very first time buy for us, but these are just Simply Potatoes brand and they are Steakhouse seasoned diced potatoes. I just thought they looked so, so good. They were actually in the refrigerated section, so I may just go ahead and try freezing them because we won't be using them until the end of the week, but I'm planning to put these in our breakfast for dinner. And then I got one green bell pepper for snacking and two more bags of the one pound organic carrots. These are just going to be for snacking and also putting into my husband's lunch and also Luke's lunch. The next thing I got is two of these red onions and these will just kind of be for going into meals as opposed to like white onions because they're sometimes a little bit yummier. And also I'm going to plan to make some of our black bean salad. It's super, super good. So I will probably try and film that and share that recipe with you guys soon, but these will also go into that. The next thing I picked up are these Granny Smith apples and these are Kyle and Liam's favorite. So I just went ahead and let Liam pick out about six of them to last us throughout the week. We are almost out of the Halo oranges. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up another bag of these for snacking because all of the kids love them. And then I got one cauliflower and this will just be for snacking. This is still one of my very favorite snacks to just go ahead and eat it raw with like buffalo sauce. And I also may make some buffalo cauliflower bites. I've shared that recipe in one of the cookie videos. I will try and link it for you guys. And that is just made in my air fryer. You can also make it in your oven, but it is so, so good. So that might be like a fun lunch for my husband and I. And the very last thing I got is just some almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is the kind that we always get. And this will pretty much be for like baking and any kind of like waffles, pancakes, like my morning shake, anything like that, that is what this is used for. So today at Winco, we spent $80.16. I was really happy with everything we got today. I say this every week, but I just feel like we get so much food for the money there. So I am definitely such a Winco fan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next one.